before we dive into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it will help my channel a lot and I'll appreciate you guys a lot for doing so. Should you do Moonlight Grace? The few reasons why you wouldn't do Moonlight Grace would be number one, you don't have enough diamonds, and number two, you're saving up for the Hell event. And for those of you who are not caught up with what the latest buzz is about the Hell event, there is a Hell event that's supposed to come. It could be Four Dreams, it also may not be. The only reason why it may not be is because Four Dreams is way after our storyline, so we're not even there yet, so it doesn't really make sense to give us four dreams. Moonlight Grace. Let's go look at the cost breakdowns by Floreal, World Dominator, Glitter Unicorn, Puke, Burb, and Sing2. Over here, it says that it will cost around 2,200 stamina if you farm the maiden stages, and 3,300 stamina if you farm the princess stages. What this basically means is that you need to spend stamina, so let's say we're going to this one, and then uh, every time I do a stage, you can see that the currency drops. Here it dropped 3, here it dropped 1, 1, 1, 2, 2. So you need this currency in order to pack a box. If you go over here, you can see that you need 5 currency per each box. And then each time you craft a box, it will count towards the next tier. So you need to craft things 5 times to get the first tier, craft things 15 times to get to the second tier, and etc. It also really doesn't matter how many stamina you need to spend throughout this time because natural regeneration, so the natural regeneration, generation of stamina that you get every single day will be enough to cover the costs of stamina for this suit. Let's talk about diamonds. So for the entire suit with all the tiers and using free tries over here all the way to the bottom it will cost you 1800 diamonds to finish it and I personally think that it's pretty cheap for a suit that looks like this and I'm going to get it because it's very grand I really like this type of suits I love cloud suits I love cute stuff and there are a lot of cute rabbits here the background is lit um, the makeup is cool. Everything about this is just really nice and enticing to me. I know a lot of people don't like this suit, but if you don't like it, then don't spend diamonds on it and you can save up for the next hell event or the next event that might come. And also another thing, don't worry if you can't get it now even if you really really want it because these suits will eventually return in the future. Let's move on to the spreadsheet created by Floreal, Asteric, Yumi, Fireburb, and Sing2. I will put the link to the spreadsheet in my description box. If I forget, please spam me and I promise I'll link it, but I'll do it, I'll do my best to do it this time. So yeah. So let's just look at how many free things you can get from just free tries. Over here, if you look in the sheet, it, so, it shows you that with zero diamonds, so all the way up to the fourth row, you can get Reed Feathers, you can get Victorious Order, Worshipping the Moon, and Cinnamon Breeze. So that correlates to the same tiers over here. You can get up to the fourth tier here. And Cinnamon Breeze is a... Let me see what that is. Oh, so Cinnamon Breeze are the petals around her. I really, really like it. Um, let's see, Worshipping the Moon What are the shoes, and then Victorious Order is the head ornament, and then the Reed Feathers is the head ornament. Wait, I lied. Okay, they're like both head items, but yeah. So those are the items you can get for free. I think that's pretty good, you know. I really, really do enjoy this outfit, and I know I'm going to be spending quite a lot of diamonds. I know it's like 1,800, it's still a little but still a lot given how much I have and I know you guys are going to be like, oh my god, Effie says she has so little diamonds but she has like 7,000 diamonds but this is like relative to how much diamonds you need in order to complete a hell event. So right now I'm way below the threshold of finishing a hell event and I'm still going to choose to finish these suits that I like and yeah, I like the hell event but I'll figure it out when the time comes. Maybe I won't fully complete the hell event, maybe I'll just do two stages, who knows. Okay. So the last thing I wanted to mention is how you can get Guard of Glory for basically free. Because if you check over here in the events and then you go to Guard of Glory, you need to spend or you need to consume, which is the same thing, <laughs> uh, 999 diamonds in order to get the suit. And this is easy peasy lemon squeezy because in the case where you're completing Moonlight Muse, you're going to be spending over 999 diamonds. Technically, you can get two suits for the price of one. So it's kind of like a buy one get one free thing. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Buy one get one free. So yeah, um, Guard of Glory is ugly as heck. Like, you know I am never one to sugarcoat things. I really don't like Guard of Glory. I think it's pretty darn ugly. There's nothing I can really use. I don't see... <laughs> it just... 
the hair, the dress, everything. I'm just like, eh. But I just want to increase my wardrobe count. And it makes sense for me to finish Moonlight Muse now and just get the suit because like I'm just going to have to get it anyways even if I don't want to. So yeah, this is how you can get two for the price of one. I know people might be hesitant in spending the packs because they're like, oh no, does it count if I spend diamonds on the packs? Like, will it count? Or do I need to buy something from the store? So you actually don't need to buy something from the store in order to get it. On the flip side, you can also buy things from the store in order to quote unquote consume diamonds so that you can get the suit. My advice over there is actually to spend diamonds on outfits that you actually want to craft. So for example, if you are really into, let's say, this outfit, you can just literally go to recipe crafting and then spend diamonds on a hoge, a hoge, a hoge, I don't know how to say it, a hoge black in the store and boom, you're already like a quarter way there. So that's how you can get two suits for the price of one. I think it's pretty lit, like 1800 diamonds in order to get two suits pretty good pretty good so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video i really appreciate each and every single one of you thank you to my early burbs as usual remember to comment like and subscribe i'll catch you all later bye